What's up guys, it's Alda Anthony. Welcome back to the Civic vlog that you hopefully know and hopefully love. And in today's video, the Civic is finally getting some much needed paint work. Let's go. How heavy is that? Like what happened the bass on the track on my face to the back like I'm taking a slap. I need a drink but it's straight from the time. And I'm hating the slack, couple my hands running around like the hate in the gaff. So roughly three weeks ago, I found a painter on Facebook Marketplace. This is a guy that works out of a shop, but was taking on small projects to knock out over the weekends or after hours. Things such as bumpers, hoods, fenders, things like that, but he wasn't necessarily taking on entire projects. So I hit him up about the couple major imperfections on my Civic and see if he could fit me in. The first being the door of all things, but secondly, the rear bumper. As many people pointed out, the rear bumper on my car was pretty pretty hammered and it definitely needed to be replaced. It wasn't something that was really worth repairing. So what I ended up doing was on a Saturday, I walked the junkyard and found a mint condition 99 to 2000 Honda Civic rear bumper in silver. So I pulled that thing for roughly $25 brought it to him Saturday evening, and by Sunday, I had a minty fresh rear bumper. Now, the sound of that sounds kind of like an Evo. Oh, it's Jason. What up, dude? What up, man? Are you my ride for today? I am. Nice. <laughs> so Jason's gonna be my ride. He's gonna be taking me back from the shop, but really quick, I wanna show you guys this rear bumper. Literally some of the best paint work that I have seen and I'm not just saying that here in Idaho We don't have the best painters So this guy was completely above the average and above the standard on what we expect from here Now this thing was straight out of the gun literally. He didn't sand it. He didn't refinish it He didn't do anything. He literally just shot it like this and it came to absolute perfection He went through the normal steps of prep and sanding and all of that But I could not believe how flat he laid this rear bumper I couldn't be more happy with this, so I am so excited to get this driver's side door in here to see if he can really fix this. Now, the biggest thing that he's going to probably have trouble with is going to be this dented area. You can see that this driver door is slightly recessed, and I told him I don't want to go for perfection, but I want to try to improve this as best as possible. If we can get 60, 70% better, I'm going to be absolutely stoked. So for this, we are gonna be taking off the mirror here. He is gonna use some tape to get underneath the trim and we are not gonna be taking off the moldings. I know some people would probably say to take them off, but it's kind of a pain and we are running short on time. So the idea is that I'm gonna be dropping off tonight, which is a Friday night, and it should be ready for me Sunday morning, which I am so pumped about because finally, I will have a Civic that is all one shade of red. Am I gonna be excited? I am gonna be excited, am I? Dude, that door's bugged me forever, man. It's bugged me for literally since I did the damn thing. So I am so excited to get this thing fixed. And like I said, that rear bumper is immaculate. I'm so happy about his work. And needless to say, he is my new guy. He's my new paint guy. So if this car ever did need a full respray, I would absolutely be taking it to him. His name is John or Jonathan. I don't know what he likes to go by. We'll have to ask him here in a little bit. But regardless, we do have to start making our way out to his shop. So we're gonna jump in the car, head that way, and I'll see you guys on the road. All right, guys, so we're on the road, and I wanna give you a rundown of how this is gonna go so you're not disappointed later on in the video. Um, I don't really have permission to film in this shop. I haven't really asked him yet, so I don't know how uh, that's gonna go on that front, and I'm also not gonna be there for the entire process um, of the prep and the paint and all of that. So I just want you to know that right off the bat, this is not gonna be a painting vlog. This is simply me documenting the process that the car is getting painted uh, and it is getting paint work. Um, I wish I could stay inside the shop, but simply I don't have enough time and I don't wanna be bugging this guy um, as he's trying to work. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get an interview from him and kind of talk about his process and what he's going to do to fix the door along with the color matching process to get the color on point. But this is going to be more of just a documentation vlog rather than an entire um, how-to video or anything like that because this is in a professional setting. Um, this is not me doing this in my garage like my other parts. Now, if you want to see me paint something, then you can watch my old painting video where I completely jacked up this door, or you could watch my video where I painted my front lip uh, and did that right and did that to perfection in my opinion. So we're gonna jump on the road here and I will see you guys in a little bit. Now, why I 
have you guys, I do want to talk about how the car is driving after my previous video. As you guys know, I got the camber kits on, including the front and the rear, and I got the alignment dialed in. I am running negative 2.75 in the front and negative 2 in the rear. Overall, the car is driving and handling fantastic. I have no complaints on how the car is driving right now. However, it did not fix my rubbing issue that I had in the rear. If anything, it probably made it worse. I didn't mention this, but the car was pretty wonky when I brought it into the alignment shop. The fronts were somewhere between 2.5 to 2.75 in the front, and the rear's running negative 3.5 to negative 4. It really was a very wonky setup after installing the camber kits. Now, I didn't have any major rubbing issues before because I think the car was naturally cambered to a higher cambered state. So when I took it in, we were obviously trying to fix that and address that to where I have better track of the tires and obviously more rubber on the road. So we brought the rears outward more to where it was negative two. Now, because I'm rubbing in the rear, that means I'm going to have to roll the rear fenders. Now, this is kind of scary to some people because rolling, there's a lot that can go wrong and there's some things that can go right. Hopefully, everything is gonna go right in that process because I am gonna have a friend that's gonna help me that has a lot of experience with rolling rear fenders and I just rubbed right there. All right guys, so we're getting ready to do the door, getting ready to, to drop it off and we're gonna be taking off. So this is John here. So John, give us kind of a rundown what the process is gonna be for this. So first thing, obviously, take down the door, you know, yep. get all that done before you even think about it. Yep. Uh, the door looks like it's pushed in right here on this. Correct, side. yeah, that's where that dent was and I kind of filled so it with some, some cheap filler. The goal is to basically get a tool behind there pull out the door as best we can okay. get it as even as possible and then unfortunately you're probably going to have to use filler on it yeah so no we'll that's that's it. it's already got it in there so yeah, I, I don't i don't know. care i don't care so we're going to have to grind it down all the way to metal make sure that filler sticks and everything okay. match that body line right kind of get, get that as close line, as possible everything straight make sure everything's good before we even try to fill it okay get everything as close as possible just so there's as minimal filler on there as we can yeah put the filler on it block it out make sure everything's all straight then we'll get it in primer yeah which will probably take overnight to to dry and everything and then i'll go ahead and block it again make sure to use guide coat everything's okay. nice and straight for you get that color looking a lot better than it is and yeah get rid of that line we'll we'll uh block out that line as we'll <laughs> yeah out it. yeah and then from there you just go to paint cool and you are, are going to kind of try to blend the color into this fender here a little bit I think I'm actually just, just going to color the whole thing. The whole thing. Sure. Okay. Like I said, that color was a it, point it, one, which it, is it, pretty <laughs> much perfect. So if yeah. I can match here and there, yeah. that fender is going to look all it, it's, that much it's better. Gonna, it's it's going to blend gonna be a lot better. better. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So I'm I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited about that because it is funny that on this molding, right, like this right here, is the moldings are all painted differently when it comes to the Civics, right? All the plastic pieces. Yeah. So you're never gonna have perfect side screws, you're never gonna have perfect moldings, the rear trunk plate's all different because everything's painted separately, right? That's kind of how they do it. And so this is never going to be a perfect match, but this is what is gonna protect your car from door dings, hopefully. Um, but other than that though, I mean, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. I am excited. I know it's going to be, um, it's going to be some work for sure. Um, but Hey, you're getting paid. So, you know, that's, yep. that, that's a plus right there. And so, um, but other than that, man, I'm extremely excited. So I'm sure you'll probably send me some pictures along the process and that way I can kind of plug them to the video. Um, cause I told people I'm not filming the painting. I'm not going to be here. Basically, I'm just going to show up and it's magically going to be done. And, um, all, you know, I will put on the trim, I will put on the mirror, you don't have to worry about any of that. So basically, when I show up, it'll just kind of look like this and I'll put everything back together myself so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but I'm excited because once this is done, that's when I'm gonna polish out the whole car, that's when I'm gonna coat it, do all that stuff to really, really make this thing look pretty and I'm pretty excited. So awesome, dude, well, I'm excited and see how it goes. Can't wait to get it done. Oh man, riding in the Evo. <laughs> it's wild. 
boys. Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> Woo! That first gear. It fucking it, rips. Dude, that first it gear. Rips. It's so hard. <laughs> It upset, it, dude, that upset my stomach, man. <laughs> Jesus. The is the, is the most fun. Dude, that's, it's brutal. That's just absolutely brutal. One week later. All right, all right. Welcome back, everybody. The Civic is finally home after some paint and body work, and I am so excited to show you guys how this thing turned out. Now, for quick reference, I dropped this thing off on a Friday night, and 48 hours later, I picked it up on a Sunday night, which is one hell of a turnaround time for some paint and body work. So without further ado, this is how it turned out. Check that out. Guys, the car is officially all one shade of red and I couldn't be more happy about that. I know I've said it countless times, but trust me, I had that imperfection on the driver door and the fender for far too long and it was really starting to get to me with how clean the Civic is becoming. So to give you guys a walk around here, we ended up doing the fender and the door both, and then getting that all blended in together. So the biggest imperfection that the door had was obviously my hard paint line that you guys have seen in countless videos, and that is finally fixed. Check that out. All one shade of red, and then that giant dent that was right here that I attempted to fix myself is now fixed, and that body line is now absolutely perfect. And then what we end up doing is painting all the way up into the fender here, and fixing this little dent right here that I had during the shipping process when I got that fender in. But all in all, this looks absolutely killer. John did a fantastic freaking job on this project, and I honestly have no complaints. Now I'm gonna step out of the wind here for a second and give you guys a rundown of what John did to get this back to good. So we began by removing the trim underneath the window and right on the right side of the door there. We popped that off and then obviously popped off the mirror. Now the next question was, do we remove the side molding or do we shoot it with the molding on? Now in order to remove the molding, you have to pop off the interior door panel and then pop the clips off to remove that molding. Now it's not hard to do, but we are pressed on time. I didn't want to keep pushing it. So basically I said, let's shoot it with the molding on and what we'll end up doing is taking a razor blade and going along the side of the molding after the paint has been shot to keep it from uh, adhering to the actual door itself. And so um, hopefully that will prevent failure in the future in terms of the clear coat. Now for the fender, I was really just having him blend the fender to begin with, but he ended up going above and beyond. So what he did is he removed the side skirt, removed the fender, did the bodywork up here near the headlight, which there was a little dent right there from the shipping process, and got that all fixed out. Now, from there, he put it back on the car and then shot it all together. For the door, it was a little bit more complicated. Because of my previous bodywork that was pretty half-assed and didn't look great, he ended up having to sand down most of the door here on the front portion. Sorry about the wind here, I'm just trying to show you. But sanding down this entire area, removing all of the old Bondo that I had put in there, and then obviously finishing that out. He had to match the body line here with the fender itself, which was absolutely perfect. And then from there, he filled it, primered it, and then blended the paint into the rest of the door. So the color blend ended up going just past the door handle there, but not into the actual fender, and then just re-clearing the whole door. Now, I didn't have him focus on the small bodywork stuff, like the small few dings that the door has. I mainly wanted him to focus on that major dent on the door, and then obviously getting the color match perfect. And from this distance, and even this distance, you can tell he did. It looks freaking awesome. I couldn't be more excited about this. And I wish the sun was shining, but we kind of have an overcast day here. But you guys have to trust me on this, that the color match is spot on. I couldn't be happier. So we got the side skirt back on, and then from there, I will have to wait probably another week or two before I put on uh, the mud guards on the front. Now, I explained before previously that he shot the rear bumper. So basically at this point, I have a freshly painted rear bumper, a freshly painted door, and a freshly painted fender. And so all of the major areas where the car was kind of lacking has now been fixed. There's no real major imperfections on the entire car. So I am super happy with how this turned out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link John's Instagram in the the description below so you guys can check him out if you're local and are wanting some uh, affordable body work. Now in terms of the cost that I ended up paying, um, I will just go ahead and tell you guys that the door and the fender 
was uh, several hundred dollars to get it fixed, uh, and then the bumper was a couple hundred bucks as well. So all in all, I'm still into this, probably 500 to 600 bucks, all said and done with my own paint and body work, and then the paint and body work that he did. Now, depending on where you live, that might be super expensive or super affordable, but for me, that was very affordable. Considering I spent 1,500 bucks on the car and it had its own imperfections and definitely did not look like this, to get it to this point, I am more than willing to pay that little bit extra to get it to where this car is really uniform and in one piece. So you can tell rear bumper looks freaking awesome. The passenger side has always looked good, so I've always been spoiled by that. But being able to walk over to the driver's side and see no major hard line or no dent there, it seriously is amazing. I am so happy. It's a very little thing. I get it. Most people are out getting crazy paint jobs and crazy wrap jobs. You know, there's tons of other huge YouTubers doing that stuff daily. But for me, this was a small project that I've been wanting to get done. Now, the next video to look forward to is obviously going to be rolling the rear fenders. I know that's going to be a huge video because there's literally no content on rolling Honda Civic fenders. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy that. And then the number one request has been window tint. So window tint will be coming very, very soon, hopefully in the next couple weeks. Uh, and I'll be going to a shop of a buddy of mine and going over the different tint options and getting something dialed in to where it looks really, really good with the red and black scheme I have going on. So that's going to be it, guys. A huge shout out to John for getting this paintwork done. A huge shout out to Jason for driving me over there and giving me a ride in the Evo. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more Civic content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Salt Anthony. Peace.